Dear sisters and brothers in Christ Jesus, on September 19, we are celebrating the anniversary of the apparition of Our Lady at La Salette in France. It was in 1846, September 19, that Mary appeared to two shepherd children, Maximine, 11 years old, and Melanie, 14 years old, at La Salette in the Diocese of Grenoble in France. Mary appeared only once at La Salette, and the apparition was around 20 minutes. It was one of the first modern Marian apparitions in the church among the approved apparitions. It was 12 years before Lourdes and 70 years before Fatima. Mary's apparition at La Salette is very important because it was only once but it prolonged around 20 minutes and she gave a very powerful message at La Salette which is very relevant even today. Our Lady appeared at La Salette as a weeping mother. She cried throughout her apparition. She was seen first by the shepherds sitting on a stone and weeping. She was being enveloped in a globe of light. And when she stood up, she invited the children, come near my children. And the children said that although they were scared, they felt he listening to a heavenly music. Their all fear disappeared and they came closer to her that no one could go between them. And Our Lady's uh, message is long, as I said. I would like to give you the sense of what she said. at La Salette. Mary invites our attention to the first three commandments. She invites us to the essentials of our faith. She invites us to Jesus Christ, her son. Although it is a Marian apparition, it is a Christocentric apparition. Jesus was the center of this apparition. Mary wore a big crucifix on her chest and All the light came from this crucifix. Jesus looked as if he is alive, the resurrected Jesus. And Mary's tears fall and that they also disappeared when touching the cross. Mary said at La Salette that we should have obey the God. We should submit ourselves to God and love God. Thus she invites us to respect the first commandment to love the Lord above ourselves, above everything in this world, with, whole, with our whole heart. And then she criticizes the bad habit of the people at that time of blasphemy, using the name of God, blaspheming the name of God. And she invites us to respect the name of the Lord. And then she calls us to respect the day of the Lord. Our Lady at La Salle says, I have given you six days to work and the seventh is reserved for me. It is a day to honor the Lord, to worship the Lord. After the French Revolution, it was a common practice for many people to work on Sundays and also uh, not to respect the day of the Lord. Therefore, Our Lady invites us to respect the seventh day and honor it. Mary's message at La Salette is so powerful and it is so relevant even today. Our Lady called the children to pray daily. They, she asked the children, do you pray every day? Do you pray well? The children said no. And she said, when you do not have time, at least an Our Father and a Hail Mary and a Glory be to every day. Our Lady also calls uh, our attention to the Lent. In those years, many did not practice Lent and uh, she said the people go to the butcher shops like dogs in Lent. She invites us to follow the Lent meaningfully. In all the Marian apparitions, we see that Mary invites us to conversion, 
to repentance and to reconciliation. At La Salet, Mary's message is that we are responsible for all the consequences, all the things that happens in our life. If the harvest is spoiled, we are responsible. Therefore, she says, if we are converted, if we repent, then there will be abundance. Mary also invites us to make the message known. She said the children at the end of her apparition make this known to all my people. There are many symbols too which we can reflect from La Salle. There are powerful symbol, symbols. One is her tears which touches all the human heart. We should understand how sorrowful it is for her as our mother to see that we live as slaves of Satan. To see that we are losing the grace that is given by the death of her son, Jesus. She wore a big chain on her shoulders to show us that in sin we are slaves of Satan. And along with that, there were also roses on her shoulders in three colors. And those roses means that if we turn away from our sin and repent, then the chain will turn to roses of virtues. She also wore a crucifix on her chest and then we see that there is also on the right side a pincers and the left side hammer. The hammer and pincers are also very powerful symbol that Our Lady showed at La Salette. The, as St. John Maria Vianney has uh, that interpreted, the hammer symbolizes that our sins, like Jesus was crucified in the cross with hammer, with nails. Each time when we commit sin, we nail Jesus with the hammer, with our sins. And the, on the right side, there was pincers, which is a symbol of reconciliation. When Jesus was taken down to the cross, the pincers was used to remove the nails. When we repent, when we reconcile with the God, we take away the nails from the cross. Our Lady at La Salette wore simple clothes showing how modestly, how the simplicity should be part of our life. Our Lady was in a globe of light and she shows that we should come to Jesus, the light of this world. The Mary's powerful message at La Salette is inviting us to turn to Jesus, to make reparation for our sins and to uh, convert ourselves and give our whole attention to Jesus. Mary's message is very relevant in our world today. Our Lady invited the children to make this message known to everyone. And through the children, this message has reached in many parts of the world today. La Salette is a unique shrine because of the difficulty to um, come over to La Salette even today, it is not commercialized. There is silence and there is the beauty of the nature. And there is the moment where we can spend with Our Lady contemplating her tears and thus allow ourselves to be touched by God. Friends, as we celebrate the anniversary of the apparition of Our Lady at La Salette, let us in make this message known to our world today. Let us listen to the message of Our Lady and make necessary amendments, changes in our life. And let us love Jesus, her son, above everything. 
And so, let us recite the Memorare of Our Lady together. And I wish you all a happy feast of the apparition of Our Lady at La Salette. God bless you all. Remember, O Virgin of La Salette, the tears you shed for us on Calvary. Remember also the care you have always taken for your people, so that in the name of Christ they might be reconciled with God. And see if, after having done so much for your children, you might now abandon them. Comforted by your tenderness, O Mother, we come to you in prayer. Despite our infidelities and ingratitude, do not reject our prayers, O Virgin of Reconciler, but turn our hearts towards your Son. Obtain for us the grace to love Jesus above all else and to console you as well by a life spent for the glory of God and the love of our brothers. Amen. Our Lady of La Salette, Reconciler of Sinners, Pray without ceasing for us who have recourse to you.